Hey everybody, <laughs> time for another song today now. <clears throat> and today I got another song by Cal Smith. Two days in a two videos in a row that I've done a song by him. <clears throat> this song today is called She Talked a Lot About Texas. <clears throat> it's a song that came out in 1975, the same year I was born. <clears throat> today is actually my birthday, so today is my I turned 49 today. <clears throat> same age as this song is. Ha <laughs> ha. The song was written by a guy named Don Wayne, and Don Wayne was a songwriter from Nashville. He was born in Nashville on May the 30th, 1933. His real name was Donald William Choate. Uh, he co-wrote or wrote at least 14 recorded songs that I could find, including several songs <coughs> recorded by Cal Smith, including She Talked a Lot About Texas, Country Bumpkin, Cal Smith's biggest hit of all time. It's Time to Pay the Fiddler, which I've done a video of before on YouTube. Uh, the Ghost of Jim Bob Wilson. And Woman, Don't Try to Sing My Song. <clears throat> Those are some of the Cal Smith songs he wrote. Other well-known songs that he contributed were Saginaw, Michigan, another song I like a lot by Lefty Frizzell. Walk Tall by Fair and Young. Bells of Southern Bell, that's a great song by Del Reeves. I'll do a video of that one in the future, as, long as, as well as Saginaw, Michigan. <clears throat> And another song called Nashville by David Houston that I did a video of a while ago. <clears throat> uh, well, other people who recorded his songs included Jim Reeves, Loretta Lynn, Conway Twitty, and Hank Williams Jr. Uh, Don Wayne died of brain cancer on September the 12th, 2011, aged 78. I remember seeing him on a show that was on TNN where he was uh, talking about and singing Country Bumpkin himself, a song that he wrote. <clears throat> Well, Cal Smith, he made the original recording of She Talked a Lot About Texas, <clears throat> probably sometime in 1974, I couldn't find an exact date, but uh, the session was produced by Smith's regular producer, Walter Haynes. The song was first released as track 7 on Smith's January 1975 MCA Records album, It's Time to Pay the Fiddler. It was then released as the second single from that album in April 1975, with the B-side called Baby's Gone. It's a song that was co-written and first recorded by Conway Twitty on MCA Records. <clears throat> the single entered the U.S. Billboard Hot Country Songs Top 40 chart on May, May 17, 1975, Smith's ninth Top 40 country hit. It charted for eight weeks and peaked at number 13. It did much better in Canada here, <clears throat> peaking at number 5 on the RPM Country Tracks chart. That probably explains why I first heard the song on the Stingray Country Classics uh, TV station <coughs> up here in Canada. <coughs> Surprisingly, I could not find any cover versions at all that have been released of this song. So uh, normally after rattling off a bunch of covers, <laughs> I might say go out and get yourself a copy of your favorite uh, artist uh, version, but in this case, you have no choice. It's got to be Cal Smith or nobody. <laughs> He's the only version that uh, exists, apparently. <coughs> A little bit about Cal Smith for you all who didn't see my other Cal Smith videos before. Uh, Cal Smith was born Calvin Grant Schaffner on April 7, 1932 in Gans, Oklahoma. During the Depression, his family moved west and he was raised in Oakland, California and grew up in San Jose. He worked clubs including the Remember Me Cafe in uh, San Francisco and in San Jose starting at age 15, but he was not financially successful. So he worked at other various jobs. Uh, including truck driving and bronco busting, and as a DJ on KEEN radio in San Jose. In 1955, he entered the music business as a regular cast member for the California Hayride TV show for two years. He then served two years in the military. After his discharge, he began playing in a band at the, in the San Francisco Bay Area. In 1961, Ernest Tubb heard the band play, gave Smith an audition, and hired him play guitar in his uh, band, the Texas Troubadours. He worked with Tubb regularly through 1968, but then began to release his own solo records during that time in about 1966, and after he achieved some success, he uh, permanently parted ways with Tubb in 1969. He stayed active in the music business until 2013, performing in the country genre. He played guitar, he recorded for the Cap, Decca, Soundwaves, and Step One labels in addition to MCA. Uh, 83 solo records and two records with other artists, actually just one artist, Billy Parker, 
one record each in 1982 and 1990. He had with him uh, for a total of 85 altogether were released on Smith between 1960 and 1990. His discography includes uh, 17 albums and 44 singles, three of which reached number one. In 1977, Smith became an investor in the Nashville Sounds minor league baseball team. He and his wife, Darlene Renee Schaffner, a songwriter, had two sons, Jimmy Todd, who predeceased him, and Calvin Jr. They had five grandchildren and 15 great-grandchildren. Smith lived near and performed in Branson, Missouri in his later years, and died there of natural causes on October the 10th, 2013, aged 81. All right, so now I'm going to try and sing She Talked a Lot About Texas. That is track number 12 off of the CD here. Uh, well, there's three songs on here that I've already done, so I'm skipping those. Let's All Help the Cowboys Sing the Blues by Waylon Jennings. Where Does a Little Tear Come From by George Jones. And The Lovin' Sound by Ian and Sylvia. I've got videos of those already on YouTube. <laughs> so today we're singing She Talked a Lot About Texas, Cal Smith. Yeah, so There's a uh, no karaoke version on. Care of fun of this song, so I'm going to have to sing it over top of Cal Smith's voice <coughs> off of the YouTube video, so here we go, let's try this thing. <coughs> I need my trusty lyric sheet for this one too. So here we go now, she talked a lot about Texas. It's one of these smooth tunes that Cal Smith did a lot of. <coughs> She always wanted me to go to Texas, but I told her Texas ain't no place for me. But to tell the truth, I was too afraid of Texas and a big wild. Texas Cowboys memory. She said everything was bigger and better in Texas. Mentioned us, and her face would start to glow. Fort Worth is where she met her second husband. She never did say why he let her go. She talked a lot about Texas and the warm west wind Yeah, it's called 
Well, she talked a lot about Texas. Cal Smith Toon from the year I was born, 49 years ago today. <laughs> 1975. Well, hope you all enjoyed that song. <laughs> I sure like it a whole lot. One of those other smooth songs that Cal Smith did. He had a lot of those. <laughs> well, that's going to be it for today, but uh, I will be back again in a few days on Tuesday <clears throat> with another song, and this time I'm going to be singing a song by my favorite all-time singer, Guy's guy singer of all time in country music, Waylon Jennings. <laughs> uh, one of his early songs called Time to Bum Again. So if you all know that one, you can sing along with me while I sing it <laughs> on the next video. But until then, <laughs> hope you all have a good day and uh, see you another time. Have a good one. Bye.